In this part of the Siebel IP2017 uh, installation, I will work on Siebel gateway configuration. But uh, before I install the gateway or configure the gateway, uh, let's see how do we stand on all these ports. I, I just have to wrap my head around what's going on with the ports and um, it's it's a new architecture so let's see where we are with that so Siebel application interface the application container is uh, utilizing three ports and I use port 443 the standard HTTPS port port 8080 for HTTP redirection to that uh, uh, port 443 and port 8005 is a shutdown port which I assume would be when I shut down the application container that's the port that's uh, used for communication. There is another application container for Siebel Gateway REST API and this also uses three ports port 9011 is the HTTPS port 9012 is the HTTP port that will redirect to that HTTPS port and port 9013 is the shutdown port. Then we have the actual Siebel gateway process um, and that gateway process will utilize port 9015 for secure communication to Siebel gateway to accept requests from the Siebel server. And then we have the Siebel server application container that utilizes three ports, 9111, which is HTTPS, 9112, which is HTTP, and 9113. This is a shutdown port for the Siebel server application container. So that uh, looks complicated. It's all running on one PC. And then we have, um, I, we have to review Siebel installation guide for Microsoft Windows section for configuring um, Siebel business application. So I've done that to just uh, understand what's going on when we are configuring the gateway the first time and then uh, how to configure um, database connectivity and so forth. As a result, I made some notes. We'll see how it'll go. Um, the first step for me will be to start the application containers. There are several comments to do it. So, in the first thing, I will start the application interface application container. in the bin folder for that application container I will set environment variable variables plural and then I'll start up this application container probably can do all that in a single bash file but uh, for now because I'm doing it for the first time I'm doing everything by hand okay so the next thing is I'll start the application container for that REST API for the gateway. Oh. So it doesn't work here with my copying and pasting. Let's try one more time. And finally, I'll try to start that application container for the server. Okay, 
very good. Okay, I'll do one more thing here. I'll run netstat command to see if I can get all these ports listening here. So let's see here. All right, let's see what we have. So I can see 9013 and 9113 were there listening. Let's look at port 443 if this is also, yes, and I can see port 443. Since there are certain things here on the connections going on, I just want to double check that we have. Yes, and port 443 also. So uh, I'll stop netstat.a. Okay, good. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my uh, Siebel management console for the first time. Okay, I'll use Chrome. I notice a problem with uh, Microsoft. Uh, Edge browser. If you define your um, host name, fully qualified domain, the host file. So, so Chrome doesn't have that problem. So that's the first time. If I done everything right on my certificates, that should actually open. Yes, it does. There is a warning uh, about um, well that basically relates to how I generated my certificates and that my certificate authority is not um, a proper certificate authority but I'll go ahead and get to the gateway or sorry to the application container for the application interface I'll try to type this is my Windows OS user ID and my password for subnet and login Okay, let's see, it should be lowercase because my OS user is actually lowercase. Okay, this worked. Sounds good. So now, host name and port, HTTPS port for the gateway REST API are sandbox.wordega.com and the port is um nine zero one one and we'll save that okay very good so this seems to work fine and now I'll call my profile sandbox and the data source it will be civil install under call DSN we are using database authentication host name I call it sandbox that's for the database port 1433 this is a Microsoft SQL Server database database service name for SQL Server this is the name of my database SQL. table owner table owner is let me think here table owner will be SA basic authentication we're using database security adapter we want that role of the civil administrator and um, I'll click that option I'm not quite sure what it does but it will um, we'll click the option to propagate changes sadmin and this is my database user ID
Alright, that's a success.